Hey guys, this is Zaman and welcome back to another fresh new tutorial of PowerPoint School. In our today's tutorial, I will show you how to make this infographic bird chart animation in just PowerPoint. This tutorial may help you to organize your presentation slide in an attractive way, so keep watching this till the end. Here you can see that we have already taken a blank slide, so first to change the background color, go to design, click on format background and from here, I'll pick this light gray color. Now close it. Go to home, pick a rectangle shape, drag it over here, go to format, click on shape fill, change this color to this light gray so that it matches with the background from shape outline, select no outline. Now click on the small icon, go to effect, under the shadow option we have to select the shadow color, set the transparency to 50%, size 100%, blur 47 point. Uh, angle 270 degree and keep the distance 4 point. Now close it. Again pick a rectangle shape, drag it over the previous one to cover it. Now go to format, click on shape fill, change this color to light gray. From shape outline, select no outline. Now we have to pick this top rounded corner rectangle, drag it over here to make this bar. Increase the roundness, bring it to here, go to format, click on shape fill, changes color, from shape outline select no outline, press ctrl D to make a duplicate, bring it to here, press ctrl D few times more and then we just need to change the color of these rectangles one by one, this is really simple, just select and changes color from shape fill. After that, what we need to do, select the rectangles and place them in their right position so that they look like a bar chart. Here I am just doing the same for all of these. Now select only these rectangles, bring them to in the middle of the shadow, right click and send them to back. Now we have to pick a text box, drag it over here, add some text, select all the text, change the font to TWCENMT. Increase the font size, make it bold, go to format from rotate, select rotate left 90 degree. Then just bring it to here, select all the text, go to home, change the font color to this light gray. Now press ctrl D to make a duplicate, bring it to here, press ctrl D few times more to get something like this. And now from here I will just change all the text one by one. This is really simple, you just need to select all the text and replace it by your own text. After that again pick a text box, drag it over this rectangle, add some number, select the text, change the font to TWC and empty, increase the font size, make it bold, change the font color to this light gray, make it center. Place this text box here in the middle, press ctrl D to make a duplicate, bring it to here, change the number. And in the same way, you can make a few more copy of this text box and place them in the right position. Now select only these two rectangles, right click on them and select bring to front. Now we can go for the animation part. So go to animation, click on animation pane to look over our animation status. Select this first rectangle to animate. Go to add animation, select fly in. Keep this on click duration 0.50 seconds, click on this drop down arrow, go to effect option and increase the smooth end. Press ok. After that select this number text box, from add animation select fly in, set start after previous duration 0.50 seconds, click on this drop down arrow, from effect option increase the smooth end, press ok. Select this text box, from add animation select fly in again. Set a start after previous, skip the duration 0.50 seconds from effect option again, increase the smooth end and press ok. Select this second rectangle from add animation do the same, select fly in, set a start after previous, skip the duration 0.50 seconds from effect option, increase the smooth end, press ok. Do the same for this number text box from add animation, select fly in, set a start after previous from effect option. Increase the smooth end and press OK. For this text box, from add animation, select fly in, set a start after previous. From effect option, increase the smooth end, 
press ok as you can see that we are using the same animation so here i will use the animation painter tool to copy and paste the animation at first select this rectangle click on animation painter to copy and paste it here select this text box click on animation painter to copy and paste it here select this one click on animation painter to copy and paste it here this is really simple at first you just need to select an animated object click on animation painter to copy that animation and paste that animation on a non animated object here i'm just repeating the same process at first i'm just selecting an animated object click on animation painter to copy that animation and paste on a non animated object after adding all the animation select all the objects drag them to here holding ctrl shift drag it to right and it will be duplicated with the animation so now from our previous slide i will just copy this upper portion and paste it here by pressing ctrl v and our slide is ready now if you start the slideshow you can see that our whole animation is working perfectly you can download this template for free i have given the download link in the video description if you have enjoyed this tutorial make sure you give a like for this video if you haven't subscribed this channel yet make sure you subscribe share with your friends don't forget to click on the bell icon to get time to time notifications from this channel hope to see in the next tutorial and thanks for watching